Welcome to Jurassic World Air or Park, park or I'm whatever. We're here at the <laughs> Koloa Ranch in Hawaii to check out some of the filming locations for Jurassic Park, Among Lost, and Hawaii Five-O, 50 First Dates for some reason. <laughs> but uh, you can see the we'll awesome mountains out. behind us. It's really beautiful here. It's Can't a little, wait. little hot, little muggy today, but that's okay. up everything on fire so that Kong he could draw Kong out so he can try and kill him of course that didn't work right but uh, that was where that would have been filmed so this scene was filmed here uh, most of this movie was actually filmed on the island of Kauai not too many people know that but they have a couple of different Jurassic Park filming uh, op photo ops here there's uh, a recreation of the tree that they hid behind when the dinosaurs all ran on from them. And then the T-Rex busted out of those trees right there. And then over here, they say this tree is actually still, uh, was in the movie and it's still here. <laughs> but these are Godzilla footprints from the 1998 Godzilla. So there's one over there to the right of us up on the hill. And then one right next to us. They're a little bit large, so sometimes it's hard to get a good picture of them. And then we have two over on the left, so if you guys are on the left side, we'll be able to get some photos or videos. Now the scene that they actually filmed up in this area is the not not the same one that's going to be playing on our screen. So this was filmed a little bit farther back near uh, where the Jurassic Park log is. But what they filmed out here to the right of us, where the coconut trees are, that's actually where they built the transportation shack that they had to get the helicopter out of so they can get to the next level of the game. All right, we're headed up a lookout here up this little path and uh, this will be one of the scenes from Jurassic World. I think it's the gyroscope scene, I'm not sure. And there it is, I think this is where the kids got on the gyroscope. This was the entrance to the ride. So after they film, they just left us here because they may come back and film here again. It's really cool how much detail they got into it here. All right, let's go get on the gyroscope. Take a they filmed this part of getting on the gyroscope here, but actually when they're riding the gyroscope around with the dinosaurs around them, it was filmed on a different island in Hawaii. So the, the back of the station here is where they, or where that fence is, is where they actually get on the gyroscope, and I guess it would launch out that way or that way. They've changed it a little bit, and on the platform, they actually have lunches and stuff out here. So they're going to have one later today. All right, now we're at a filming location and some of the props for Kong Skull Island. That is really cool. Pretty cool. Dude. <laughs> a little lighter than you thought, right? Actually made of styrofoam, so pretty yeah. easy to pick up and plastic. Yeah. <laughs> this wouldn't have been Kong. This would have been in one of his relatives. This is the boneyard area. swallowed. So while we're checking out these bones, our tour guide is over here feeding chickens. Here Jackie, go put your head in the mouth there. <laughs> Look at how big that eye socket is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think he could swallow you in one bite. I think so. I think that would happen. <laughs> of course, these props have been sitting out here for years, so a little bit of decay on them and the paint's wearing off on them, but uh, Really cool to see him up close. See a hook on the back of this one. Maybe they were using that to move it around or something.
stop here at this old World War II bunker that's here on the mountain. And they actually have filmed, um, Pearl Harbor was filmed here, as well as the Y50 and some other shows. I'm going to actually go ahead inside. There's a layout of the bunker. It's pretty huge. Here's some signs showing different things that have been filmed here. George of the Jungle, 51st Aid Snatch, a very Brady sequel. Jumanji, Shaking the Fat Man, <laughs> Magnum PI, of course. So Jumanji was filmed here, and also Journey 2, The Mysterious Island. Have you ever seen that? I think The Rock just like takes any movie role if it's filming in Hawaii. So here's a photo of the gyrosphere uh, platform that we were at earlier. And here's how it looked, I guess, while they were filming it. And this circle right here is right here. That's cool. So this part of the bunker is dedicated to the TV show. Here we see the Dharma logo. I'm not sure this polar bear was actually used in filming, but there's a bunch of props in here. Hard to see, it's a little green in here. Apple II, Dharma Initiative, Apple II. Here's uh, when they were filming, you can see the gyrosphere sign, and they have the actual sign up on the wall here. Isn't that cool? Look at this! Oh, buddy. Oh, no. That's my buddy. An animatronic dinosaur. Watch out. He's got a skull in He does have a skull in him. I probably shouldn't be buddies with him. So here's one of the Jurassic World trucks. Oh no, look who's driving. Uh, watch out for dinosaurs. Venom was actually one of her weaknesses, right? So she at first is tiptoeing through, but then she realizes if she sacrifices one of her lives, the game will return her uh, back into it uh, from up above, from out of the sky. She'll fall back into the game. Our next stop is where the helicopter pad was in Jurassic World. They said they built it out of materials that weren't too sturdy, uh, just enough for their filming needs. So when the filming was done, they left it here for a while, but then they were worried that other real helicopters would try to land on it uh, because it had a big H on it. So they tore it out, but uh, it was here in the grass here. And that was the view, of course, uh, down below this in the movie is the, the park, Jurassic World Park, but they, of course, CG'd all that in. So here's a look at the helicopter pad as it appeared uh, right after filming. And then on the other side, you can see it as it was in the movie. And of course, that's that tore it all out, but uh, it was right over there. And then they said these mountains right here are what the kids see when they first arrive on the island. So when they're making the movie, they liked this island over here and the shape of it, but they didn't couldn't leave that in for the uh, Jurassic World Park. So they made an, a building that's triangular uh, that, to represent kind of that island. We're right here at the Indominus Rex enclosure. As you can see the sign up there. We'll actually get to go inside and see the claw marks on the wall. This is pretty cool. They said the uh, outside of this is actually styrofoam. It made it look like cement. You can actually push in on it. <laughs> but the inside steel, so they said it's really there's the claw marks that you see in the movie and then over here is the little observation deck. We're going to go up there in a minute. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> That's really cool. They filmed 70, about 75% of Jurassic World here. Only a small amount of Jurassic Park was filmed here. That was actually filmed on another island majority of it. That is too cool, look at that. That's cool up here. Hey. Open the gates, Jackie. Uh, okay. And they're up. <laughs> Not oh, really. Let out the, it's a home screen. You let him out. He was probably hiding in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
is where okay, I hear they are. Looking right there. That is right there. Yeah, that's so cool. How it looked when they were filming it. Over here's a picture of her looking out one of these windows with the uh, dinosaur right outside the window. Please respect all Jurassic creatures. Do not talk, tease, or harass the animals. Dino food only. Do not feed the dinos. Human food. Did I, did I not tell you guys this whole time? Did I tell you guys my name? This is our tour guide, Lilo. And she actually Hi. does have a cat named Stitch. I do. That is too cool. <laughs> he's really cute. Is he? Is he's, he blue? Uh, uh, he's naughty like Stitch. <laughs> That's how he got his name. The dinosaur just escaped. Get in there. Shut the doors. I think, I think if you were really run from dinosaur, you'd run a little quicker than that. Probably, probably, <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> or you'd be dino food. Dino food. The body of the helicopter is real. It's, it was brought here in pieces and put together. But uh, a lot of the other pieces that you see there are made out of uh, different types of material, cheaper materials. Uh, the tail and the intakes are made out of two different types of foam. The propellers are made out of sheet metal, the glass is made out of plastic so the glass up in the front and to the side and then the funniest thing i think about this is if you look at the propellers on the very top of the propellers you'll see like it looks like a a dome shaped piece up there you can see that yes. looks like a upside down um, bowl almost that's actually a cooking wok <laughs> yeah from target <laughs> Now we're at one of the uh, filming locations, Lakeside. I said this is a very popular filming location. Some of these uh, movies have been filmed here, include Snatched, where uh, she was snatched here, I believe. <laughs> and then uh, 50 First Dates was filmed out here. This, this is a restaurant that they ate at in the movie. This is a very beautiful location. I can see why a lot of the shows filmed here. Films and TV shows have been filmed here than any other site on the whole ranch. Chickens! There's some scenes from 51st States that they filmed out here. And over here, I think this is where Owen's house was as well. There's the submarine we saw earlier. Out in the lake here. The fans of Mike and Dave need wedding dates, if there are any. It was filmed here as well. Ah, watch out, dinosaur! <laughs> All right, we're done with our tour. Um, we just showed you guys some highlights. The actual tour is like three hours long. Two and a half, three hours. Yeah. It depends. And there's a lot of different roads they can take. Yeah, it depends stuff. on what's going on right. and the weather and things like that. But we had a great tour. Um, we did the premiere tour. It was $140 a person, which is a lot. They also have a $50 tour, but you want to do like two stops, the bunker, yeah, this one, and the I log. Mean, it seems like a lot, but you get to do a lot. Yeah, yeah I would I recommend. Mean, I would, I would upgrade can, and do the premiere. Yeah, I think so too. And uh, our group was a lot smaller. The other one is a bigger group, so yeah, less Yeah, and this is the air-conditioned bus. The other one is not yeah, an air-conditioned bus. Too. That actually makes a difference, <laughs> big time right Even now. Even though it's the really, weather's great here, it's a little warm. It's but, a, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, the humidity is a little high today. So, so we, we hope you uh, today. hope you guys enjoyed our adventure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Of course, every great tour ends in a gift shop. They have some uh, lost t-shirts you can get with the name of the ranch on it. Also have some that look like Jurassic Park or World. And then down here, there's a Jurassic Valley. And there's a, they also have zip lines here and horseback riding and lots of other stuff. And a Hawaii 5 shirt.